rather than just like viewing yourself as a speck of dust in the universe like yes you are that but even more so you're not even going to be a speck of dust in the universe at some point you're gonna just cease to exist hello everyone today you know the try to share chick-fil-a i haven't actually had chick-fil-a in a while but i have um i had like a reward for a free chicken sandwich so i was like i had to go mm. they're fresh today i kind of just wanted to press play on this record thing button um really because i feel like i always have like so much stuff that i want to say first off i'm sick or i'm just getting over like a sickness i had a cold um so if, I, if my voice sounds really annoying right now i'm sorry i got honey mustard and chick-fil-a sauce sometimes i get polynesian you know just depends on the mood let's open up this bad boy Yum. She's hot. Let's dip it in some Chick fil A. Mm hmm. I didn't show the fries. Mm, so good. Okay. But yeah. <clears throat> I feel like I always have random things that I want to talk about. But I don't know, like. I feel like I'm so caught up with the idea of like being perfect or like trying to be perfect even though perfect doesn't exist you know and I feel like the one thing people say about YouTube is like just be yourself so I'm gonna be myself and just kind of chat with you guys today about death because we're all gonna die someday and I'm taking a, a class in about dying, basically. And ever since I started to take this class, I'm all of a sudden going through like a spiritual awakening of some sort. Because of that spiritual awakening, I've just been really thinking about how at the end of all of this, at the end of our lives, at the end of our accomplishments, we're just going to cease to exist. There's something about that that's scary. Like for me personally, I find it terrifying. And I learned that people that are more sure about the end of their lives, so for example like atheists or super like religious people, like Christians or any religion really those individuals that know that they're gonna lit or die and go to the afterlife because in their head a religious person they know they're going somewhere they're going to heaven or they're going to hell period for, for them and if they know that they've been leading a good life or whatever they're gonna go to heaven an atheist, they're 100% set on the fact that then nothing's gonna happen. And so, those people are more at peace with death than those like me, where I'm like, I don't freaking know. Like, I want to say, I'm not religious, but like, sometimes I'm like, I have this fear that like, since I'm not religious and I don't follow like, any type of you know I mean I believe that there's like a higher, higher power and stuff like that I'm not atheist by any means but is it like am I gonna in, in, in a Christians or any religious sense like am I gonna be punished I don't know and so that's why I find it terrifying another point that I wanted to talk about was how when you think about it why were religions even like created you know like what 
like why did somebody you know whether you're religious or not whatever i mean if you're religious then you're probably like well because god put it in someone's head but like even then you know you can't even argue what i'm about to say i mean maybe you can let me know at me uh religions were created so that what is this person doing like go inside Religions were created off the basis of humans trying to cope with their own death. Because when you think about it, and the only thing that humans don't know is what happens after death. We do not know. Even with people that say like they had an afterlife experience or whatever, like we don't even know if that's true. We, there's no way to actually test it. And so, these people, humans, the one thing we don't know is what happens after we die. And the one thing that we are guaranteed is that we will die. And so, to be able to cope with this fact, both of those facts, people created a religion, whatever one you want to name, whatever, I don't care, or spirituality, whatever you want to call it, um, so that they had a, or have a, guideline and rules that they follow in order to help them come to terms that at the end of their life they're going to die so if you treat your life in this way whatever if you lead your life from the moment you're born until the day that you die then you're going to be rewarded in the end like it's like what like but what if nothing happens you know what i mean like i don't know but I've always been very spiritual. I've never been an, an atheist for any uh, in any means. But it makes me wonder, like, does anything happen after this? Like, when you when you take away your upbringing and your biases and your you know background, and you think about death, it wouldn't be completely off to see that nothing happens. That you just die and that's it. I don't know. But I've been going through a spiritual awakening where I realize that I know everyone knows that we're all going to die. You know, everyone knows that. Because we it's inevitable. But in a society, like the society I live in, I live in America, um, in the United States to, to be exact, and we tend to try not to think about death or talk about death. It's a, it's a very taboo subject. And I'm sorry, I feel like there might be people that watch this that like might be like, what is she saying? And for good reason, because you probably, a lot of people, they don't talk about it. You know, whenever, before taking this class, whenever I thought about death, it would make me really anxious. Because I, I couldn't understand it. I still don't. When I think about the fact that one day I'm going to die. I'm not going to be here anymore. Like what? Like that makes no sense. Like there's no way that my brain. Can process it. And when I think about it. It like. Makes me like spiral. Like it makes me like. Freak out a little bit. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyways like I was saying. I'm almost done with my fries too like I was saying everyone knows that they're gonna die and I'm sure you've seen like the TikToks or videos or whatever but people will talk of uh, people talking about how you know, we live on a rock, and we're floating in space, and we're nothing, and we're specks of dust, which is completely facts. And I, when I think about that alone, I freak out. And I'm also met with a feeling of ease and peace thinking about that, because it's like, nothing matters, so it doesn't matter. But when you incorporate death with that thinking, it makes it even more of like a What's my purpose here? 
what's my what am I meant to do in this in this glimpse a blip of time in the age of the universe like why are we here why are you here you know because there's no way there's no way that I am meant to be here to work a corporate job riding away years of my life to feed this economy that's corrupt like there's no way that that is what my meaning is and for a lot of people there's no way and so thinking about death and thinking about the fact that one day I'm gonna die like I need to like really think about and you do too you need to think about what is your actual meaning here what's your purpose what are you meant to do what do you want to do because you have free will when you let go of the standards and practices of our society and you start thinking about the things that you as a human being as a soul wants to do you can literally do whatever the hell you want no one's stopping you isn't that crazy so anyways that's what's been literally the forefront thought in my mind for the last two months and I feel like I want more people to start thinking about this because when you think about the fact that you're gonna die it really puts it puts it more it puts your life more in, in perspective rather than just like viewing yourself as a speck of dust in the universe like yes you are that but even more so you're not even going to be a speck of dust in the universe at some point you're gonna just cease to exist we all are we're all gonna be we're all gonna explode because of the sun we're probably gonna die before that even happens so just think about that Think about that while I take my, my last bite. If you liked hearing me talk about this, let me know because, or honestly, just like let me know your thoughts on all this. Like, I'm curious. I'm curious because the people in my personal life are probably so sick of me talking about this is I literally have not stopped talking about it for like the last two months. And so tell me what you think because I'm curious. And also I always think of random stuff like this all the time. Literally all the time. Um, and I just feel like I should start posting it more because like I said, the people in my personal life are probably sick of me talking about the crazy stuff that I talk about. So, yeah, I'm done with my food, but I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful life. I hope you come to terms with the fact that you are going to die and there's going to be nothing left afterwards, or maybe you go to heaven. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We're not sure. And if you are super religious or if you're atheist, like, honestly, must be nice to, like, be comfortable with the fact of what's going to happen to you after you die. Yeah. So, anyways... Goodbye and happy life.